so I am Alina Lucas. I am co-founder and CEO of Utility API. And we are the data infrastructure for the new energy economy. Over here. We're universal API for energy data. We're automating the process of getting data out of the utility and in the hands of companies that can actually use it, which in this case is solar. So I'd like you to imagine that I'm a solar consultant for a moment and you've expressed interest in going solar. And I, I come to your house, we're sitting at the kitchen table, and I say, great, thank you for your interest in solar. What is your past 12 months of kilowatt hour usage? And then you give me a blank stare. And then in order to get that data, it's a three-way phone call with the utility. So it's uh, the solar consultant, it's the homeowner, and then it's the utility representative. And it's a three-way phone call, you have to wait on hold, and then solar consultant gets to write it down and then type it into a solar software proposal tool, and then you get a proposal, and then you see if it makes sense to go solar. And so the entire experience could be wasted, that entire journey, wasted time. And with commercial, it's even more difficult because there's a paper authorization form that needs to be faxed to the utility. And then it goes into a black hole, you wait a couple of weeks, and hopefully the data comes back. And was just talking with a customer earlier that said, we've been waiting for that data for four months, and you collected it and, and turned it around in 24 hours. And that is what we're doing. We're taking that extra time in the solar proposal process and just really accelerating that customer acquisition. So right now it's a spaghetti mess of data in between utilities and solar companies. And it's solar installers, it's the uh, lead generation, it's the quoting tools, it's the financing, they all need this data. And it's messy to get it out of the utility. And we're sitting in the middle, pulling the data out, similar to what Twilio has done as a universal API for telecom, we're doing that for utilities. And our technology is supporting uh, three of the uh, so like soft cost breakdown buckets and resulting in a 10 cent per watt reduction installed. Our addressable pain points include everything from customer acquisition to closing to customer management. And so I'm gonna just touch on a few of them and it's does the customer qualify? That's the experience at the beginning when you've wasted an entire home visit because someone doesn't qualify for solar. They don't use enough energy. Closing, can we lower FICO score requirements by pulling 24 months of billing history, seeing that they've paid on time, lowering those FICO requirements so then the market opens up for a broader swatch of the American public. And then customer management. What if someone installs, uh, gets an EV in a couple of years? Maybe someone wants to have an app where they can match up their solar production with their uh, consumption inside their home. And our process is a simple one. It's the solar consultant requests the data, the, uh, the customer authorizes access, and you download the data. Each solar consultant has their own custom link that they can send out to any prospective customer. The customer uh, receives it and enters their utility, they select their utility, authorizes us to go in, gets us access, and gives us explicit authorization to go and collect this data on their behalf. It's the data that could be from login credentials or info from one old bill. Once we validate that the login credentials or the information works, the data is immediately available to the solar consultant. And this data includes time, time of use information, includes how much the bill actually was, and includes interval information as well. And all of that data can go straight to into whatever software that the solar consultant is using. It's instant, it is frictionless, and that's how we're speeding up the process of customer acquisition, and this data can go through for the financing and customer management as well. And what we've done with SunShot Catalyst is to really build out our entire fully functional SaaS offering. And that includes, uh, so we have our you know, modern API that is integrated with uh, different software out there. And then with Catalyst, we develop software development kits so developers can build apps with our technology so that you can qualify a solar lead inside a Home Depot or at a farmer's market. And that really reduces that entire qualification process. And we already have it available so you can easily embed it on a website as well. 
Our business model is on a per meter basis. It's $10 per meter for the historical data collection, and that's the data that goes back as far as possible from the utilities website. And then it's a dollar per meter per month for ongoing monitoring, really making sure everything lines up, the billing is correct coming from the utility. And we're in the big three California utilities right now, and we'll be expanding seven more by the end of the year. The way we think about our, our market is on a per meter basis. So there's 130 million meters across the United States, and each of those is going to be evaluated for different energy technologies over the next decade. Even for solar, people are getting multiple quotes just like when they're shopping for a car. And our technology underpins the entire new energy economy. So it does address solar, first and foremost, because this is an acute pain point for a, an industry that is growing so quickly but also for storage and for energy management. M and V for measurement and verification for energy efficiency is uh, sometimes even cost prohibitive and prevents an entire project from being, being completed. We have accelerating traction. We exited beta in March and we are transitioning our beta customers into paying customers. And we have paying customers. They include the top solar and storage companies that are out there and our go-to market strategy is really embedding ourselves within the community and thought leadership. Um, I'm on the board of Women in Clean Tech and Sustainability. Daniel plans young professional and energy events and clean web events and we're part of this community. We know that this, this data is needed to serve all, all of these companies part of this energy ecosystem. We also had some wonderful press uh, from Green Tech Media a couple months ago as well. And my background is I came from the utility. I was at PG&E managing a $200 million budget for low income energy efficiency programs and distributed generation. And I saw how much the utility was paying for those three-way conversations with uh, solar consultants and, and people who wanted to go solar. And my co-founder, Daniel, is a 500 startups alum, built a tech platform for 1.2 million users with uh, photocracy and also uh, has this, saw, this experience, saw this problem firsthand because he was putting solar on schools and ran into the, author, the paper authorization form problem. And Keith joined our team in, in January and he has 10 years experience as a software developer. It's been really great with our front end in UX. We have a really great team of advisors and that includes John Wellinghoff, the former FERC chairman. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with John, he's like the Ben Bernanke of energy and uh, Danny Kennedy um, and Emily uh, of the Spun Cube. Uh, we are exiting the Spun Cube Accelerator. Um, and then uh, Heidi Lubin, winner of the, the Clean Tech Open. And uh, Rick and Wes, part of Better Ventures. And we are raising $500,000 to accelerate our development. Looking forward to your questions. Congratulations, uh, great job, and uh, I think it's uh, just a great experience for you, whether you win or lose today, to be here and uh, going through the process. I think many uh, of the investors will not only uh, really give you credit for this, but uh, at many times, you know, contributes to your success. So, congratulations. I was just uh, curious to see um, or to know what do you feel the greatest uh, challenge or impediment uh, to providing uh, simple and immediate access from the utility? Mm -hmm. So we have to build software adapters for each utility. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So, it's, so one of the biggest challenges that we have is each individual utility has their own interfaces and even utilities that have implemented something like Green Button or Green Button Connect their implementations are just different enough to, so that you have to customize to each individual utility. So that's why we have three right now. We're looking to add seven more uh, by the end of the year, and then we're looking to add a total of 45 by the end of the next year, and that'll cover about 90% of the US. And then uh, hopefully we can get into the other 3,000 um, like small municipal utilities to cover the other 10%, but once we build that, universal platform, a solar company doesn't have to worry at all anymore about what utility they're having to deal with because it's just a API call away. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, great. And 
you know, it's becoming a more of a competitive space. So uh, why would a solar company go with you instead of another source? We are working with the top solar companies right now. So we've already have a beachhead within these companies. And it is a, a service that they have tried to build, in, build internally most often. Um, and then uh, they realize that the cost of operations and, and maintenance, maintenance of these adapters is really where the costs come in. And so that's where we're developing this product for the entire market. And um, do you want to talk about that? Sure. So these developer or these adapters take a lot of maintenance because they break all the time until you basically get a direct line or a direct partnership or relationship with the utility, which we definitely plan on doing over time. Um, but, uh, but in the meantime, it takes a lot of engineering work to do that. And most of the teams that we've talked to, if it's not your core business on maintaining these, uh, these pieces of software, then it's gonna atrophy away, it's gonna break, it's gonna take two months to fix, et cetera. And so we've made it our core strategy of we are going to maintain these and we are going to uh, basically share the cost of maintenance over the entire industry through multiple companies. But to get to competition a little bit more, there's a few other companies more in the energy management space who have developed this, um, but they are, it's kind of like a side business where their core business is doing the analytics and this is something that they've developed on the side. And we haven't seen particularly active companies in the solar space as of yet. And so that's why we are looking for additional funding to really get that um, that market capture now. Thank Great. You. Thank you. Uh, can you describe your you describe your value proposition to the solar companies? Can you describe your value proposition to the utilities? Sure. So um, we're one of the registered third parties for Green Button Connect. And one of the big problems that uh, we've been hearing from the people, the utilities that we work with on Green Button Connect is that they don't really see a lot of adoption um, for that standard. And um, so what we're doing is we're actually starting to be a hosting provider for um, Green Button Connect uh, for companies that don't have the technical resources to be able to implement it themselves. Um, so for example, um, we, help, we currently host with a company um, so that they can put the green button logo on their website and we will then go and um, basically host that data for them.